Hello, today I'm going to talk you through some rescue techniques when you experience a cuff failure due to pilot balloon damage on a standard oiled endoscule tube. The rescue techniques utilise equipment that should be familiar to all of you and should be easily available within your areas of practice. So here I have a standard size 8 oiled endoscule tube where there's been pilot balloon damage. The first technique I'm going to show you is with a standard 22 gauge cannula. Keeping the needle within the cannula, very carefully insert the needle and cannula. Up to the hilt. Keeping the needle in there gives it the integrity that, it, that is required. You then remove the needle and dispose of safely. Attach a one-way valve and insert the required air. Again, you've got good integrity of the balloon. You might want to put a bit of tape around the connection here to ensure there's no air leak. An alternative that is slightly more um, dangerous to yourself and the patient is using a green needle and inserting the green needle directly into the tubing. This time I'm going to show you with a three-way tap how you can inflate the balloon. Just turning the tap off, and again, good integrity. Do be careful, as I said, there is risk to uh, hurting yourself and the patient uh, with the needle there. The final technique that can be utilised is with a piece of equipment from an epidural pack. Um, so this is the part where the uh, bacteria filter fits onto uh, the epidural. Again, insert the tubing into there, but don't close uh, this device quite yet because otherwise you can't inflate it. Inflate with air and close and again you've got good integrity. The hope is then that this gives you a bit of time to reset uh, and prepare the patient for reintubation with a um, undamaged tube.